guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be teaching you all a few different ways to make an aesthetic collage wallpaper for your phone and for your laptop. If you're new here, please hit the red subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up as it really helps to support my channel. All of the different ways of making a wallpaper collage that I am about to show you in this video are using applications that are completely free so you won't have to worry about that. So the first part of this video is going to be how to make a collage wallpaper for your phone using your phone. And then the second part of this video is going to be how to make a collage screensaver for your laptop using your laptop that will inspire and motivate you. So with that, let's get started. All right, so to make a super aesthetic wallpaper using your phone, there are two different ways that I like to make a collage. For the first one, you will need two different apps. You will need Pinterest and Visco or any other editing app that you like to edit your photos with. So if you know me, you know that I'm absolutely obsessed with Pinterest. I have my own account. You guys can follow me. My username is Rebecca underscore Grace 04. And it basically looks like this. So for me, I'm going to go onto my account and I have a board called Aesthetic. And basically this is a board with photos that represent my personal aesthetic and that really inspire me. If you guys would like, you can definitely go onto my Pinterest and check out some of my boards and use the pins that I have saved to make your collage. So if you don't have a board already with pins that you like and that are a good aesthetic for you, you're going to want to go through Pinterest and make a board of photos that you would like to be in your wallpaper. So for me, since I already have a board of aesthetic photos that I would like to use, I'm going to go onto that board and over here in the left where this little adjustment symbol is, I'm going to make sure that my view option is selected as compact. This will make it so the pins are smaller and so that you can view more pins at once on the screen. So in a Pinterest board, you can rearrange your pins to be in whatever order you would like. So what you're going to want to do is scroll down throughout your board and find a section of pins that you would love to use as your wallpaper. And you're going to find that part and you're going to scroll down quickly to that part. So for example, I really like this section of pins right here. So what I'm going to do is go to the top of my board and scroll down really quickly to that part of those pins. And as you can see, the bottom options bar kind of disappeared and that is what you want to have happen so that you can easily take a screenshot of this without that options bar being at the bottom. So after you have taken a screenshot of your pins, you're going to want to go to your photos and find that photo that you just took a screenshot of and you are going to edit this photo and crop it to where you get rid of the top part so that you can only see the pins in the photo, just like that. So now this is what your photo will look like. And that is basically it for how to make this collage. So now all you have to do is set this as your wallpaper. You can adjust it to however you would like. I'm gonna put it just like that, set, set both. So now this is what the background of my iPhone looks like. So at the beginning, I also mentioned that you will be needing an editing app of your choosing. And this is because if you want to make your collage have one cohesive filter, you can go into an app such as Visco, select your photo, import it, click on it and edit it and put whatever filter you would like to put over it onto the photo. So for example, I'm going to choose the filter C1 and I'm gonna bring it down to about six because I think I like how that looks. And now I'm going to save that to my camera camera roll and now I'm going to go back into my photos find that photo that I just saved and now I will set this as my wallpaper all right so moving on to the second way that I like to make a collage wallpaper for my iPhone for this version, you will also be needing the app Pinterest as well as the app called Chroma Stories. Okay, so yeah, a quick disclaimer. This video was actually filmed a few weeks ago and since then, for some reason, from what I've seen, Chroma Stories isn't available in the app store anymore for some reason. I'm not sure why. Since I've had the app for a while now, I can still use it on my phone, but it doesn't show up in the app store anymore. So I guess that means that it's not really available anymore to download. So sadly, this next Part of the video won't make that much sense since you won't be able to use chroma stories if you don't already have it downloaded but basically you can still follow these same steps and just use another app it's called unfold i'll put a picture of it right here on the screen you can also use canva and i'm sure there are many other apps out there to be able to make a phone collage wallpaper this version of a collage wallpaper is definitely a little bit more customizable and also with this collage you can insert your own photos if you would like 
So the first thing that you're gonna want to do is go back onto Pinterest and just go through Pinterest, take your time, and look for pins that, once again, you think would represent yourself really well or that inspire you, represent your aesthetic, or just pins that you would like to have as your wallpaper. So once again, I'm going to go into my Pinterest board called Aesthetic, and I'm going to go through it and start saving pins that I really like. So for this collage, you're gonna wanna save about four to six photos. I usually like saving five photos, but it's up to you. So another tip when making this collage is that you want to find pins that will look good together. So whether the color scheme is similar or they have the same filter, you want to find pins that will go well together. So as you can see here, I made an album called Wallpaper and it includes the six photos that I chose. So this next part is when you will be needing the app called Chroma Stories. So once you enter the app called Chroma Stories, you're gonna wanna hit the plus button down at the bottom and tap on your blank canvas. This will prompt you to a screen that shows all the photos that are in your camera roll. So you're gonna wanna find either the photos that you saved or the album that you made that includes all the photos for your wallpaper. And you are going to tap on every single one of those photos. So I'm gonna tap on the six photos that I saved just like that. So as I'm looking at these layouts, a few of my favorites are this one right here with the white where the photos are kind of tilted. And I also really like this one that has more of a vintage film black outline. So for this video, I'm going to choose this black outline one. So once you click on it, you're just going to want to press the check mark and it will bring you to this. So now basically this is what your layout looks like. So a good thing about this app is that it allows you to just switch the photos around. You can replace them, put them in any order that you would like. But honestly, I really like how it looks right now. So after you like how it looks and you like where all the photos are placed you're just going to want to save this by clicking the arrow at the top save page to camera roll so now as you can see this photo is in my camera roll and all i have to do is use as wallpaper set it to the position that i like i think i like how it looks like that set set both and there we go this is what this collage looks like so using chroma stories for your collage is definitely a way to customize it a little bit more because you can choose the layout of how you would like it to look and you can also use your own photos if you would like okay so that was how how I make my collage wallpapers for my phone and now we are going to move on how I make my aesthetic collage screensavers on my laptop. So the process of making a collage screensaver on your laptop is very similar to how we made a collage on a phone. So the application that you're going to be needing to make this collage is Canva. And basically you are going to have to make a Canva account, but that is completely free, but you will have to do that. So after you've made your account, you are going to open a new tab and basically you're just gonna search up the display size of whatever device you are making a screensaver for. So I am making one for my MacBook Air 13 inch, so I'm just going to search up MacBook Air display size. So when I scroll down here, it gives me the Apple website and it basically just says that it is 2560 by 1600 pixels. So what you're gonna do now is go back into Canva and right here on the right where it says custom dimensions, you're gonna type in the dimensions of your display. So mine was 2560 by 1600 pixels. You're just gonna press create new design. So this will prompt a blank canvas that will now be your screensaver. All right, so now that you have this prepared, you're going to want to go onto Pinterest just like what we did on your phone. So once again, same things apply. If you don't have a Pinterest account, I highly recommend making one because basically what you're gonna do now is you're going to find all the pins that you want to use for your screensaver. So a huge tip that I have when making a screensaver for your laptop is to make one that includes images that inspire and motivate you because that way every time you open your laptop and are preparing to do either schoolwork or anything like that you feel motivated and inspired to do that so I'm going to be going on to my board called aesthetic and looking through these pins and I'm gonna basically select a few pins that I would like to use for my screensaver so personally with the layout that I like using I like selecting eight different photos to use in my collage and that is because I like doing a collage that has four photos on the top and four photos on the bottom. But that is just my personal preference. However you would like to make your collage, you can use as many photos as you'd like. So now I'm gonna go through all of these photos and select the ones that I wanna save to my desktop to use for the collage. So 
once again, when selecting your images from Pinterest, you want to choose photos that will go well together, that either have a similar theme or color scheme. And you might have to test it out a few times to figure out what photos you really want to use. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go back into Canva. And over here on the left side, you will see a little tab that says Uploads. So now you're going to want to select the little button that says Upload an Image or Video. And you're going to want to find the photos that you saved to your desktop and import all of them. So once all of your photos are done uploading on this sidebar over here, you're going to want to tap on each one of them to import them onto your canvas. So as you can see now, most of these photos are different sizes and that is completely okay because basically now is when you have to let your creativity shine and basically just rearrange these photos into a collage that you think looks best. You can really rearrange these however you would like. You can even position them to bring one forward just like that and you can make some smaller, you can make some bigger, really just anything you like. When making my laptop screensavers, I always like to include some kind of photo that either has an inspirational quote or just a few words that I like because those types of photos also really do inspire me. So I'm going to play around with this for a little bit and then I will show you guys what my final product ends up like. All right, so I just finished rearranging, cropping, repositioning, everything like that. I just finished doing that to all of my photos. And as you can see, this is what it looks like now. I'm really happy with how it turned out. And as you can also see, I do like more of an organized style collage, but you can totally do it however you want. It can be however creative you want, anything that you want to do. So now that I am happy with my final product, I'm gonna go over here to the top right and press this button that says download. So now this little window with your collage pops up and basically what you're gonna wanna do is for all the Mac users out there, I'm not too sure how to do this step if you don't have a Mac, just because I am personally a Mac user, but if you do have a PC or any other laptop, I'm sure you could figure out or you know the way how to change your wallpaper. But for all the Mac users out there, what you're gonna wanna do now is make sure that this is saved to your desktop and you will know why in a second but basically you're gonna click out of that and you're gonna go to where you are able to change your screensaver so you just go to the Apple system preferences and then you find the desktop and screensaver application and as you can see since this window is small we can still see the photo that we saved to our desktop over here so now literally all you have to do is just click on this photo and drag it over to this main screen over here release and there you go it saves as your screensaver so we're gonna go to that and then I don't need this anymore, so I'm just gonna put it into my extras folder. And there we go, that is what the collage aesthetic wallpaper looks like. I honestly really like it. I definitely am inspired by all of these photos, and I'm sure that the collages that you guys create are going to be amazing as well. All right, so that basically brings me to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it super useful and are now able to make your own aesthetic collage wallpapers. Let me know down in the comments if you guys use this video to make your own collage wallpaper. Both the phone wallpapers and the laptop wallpaper that I made today will be linked in the description. You can also find all of those and previous wallpapers that I have made on my Pinterest. So please make sure to hit the red subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up as it really helps to support my channel you should totally follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, Spotify, everything like that. All those links are down in the description box below. I upload a new video every single week on Thursdays at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. So I will see you guys back here next week. Bye! She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something about a feature.